Now we're rolling. Damage Plan MMA Podcast. I am Jason. He is Zach. We are back. Round three. All right. What's up, Zach? What up, dog? Not that I just didn't talk to you literally five minutes ago from the other podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're always talking. We got a uh, another Fighter Spotlight podcast. My boy Roman reached out to me. He's got a uh, another young stud, Frank the Bulldozer Menno. What's hey, going on, Big Frank? How you doing, on, man? I'm doing fine. I'm just cutting weight right now. I'm Ugh. 11 pounds out. I'm 11 pounds out. Three more days to the weigh-in. Yeah. Cake. So all I got to do is just cut those 11 pounds, and I'm good. I'm ready to eat, so, and I'm ready to have fun after that. Huge shout-out for you for coming on the podcast while you're getting cut and weight for your fight this <laughs> Saturday. Yeah, man. I man, walked around not- 175, dude. So, Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, that was my walk around way, dude. I walk around 175 to cut to 145. Man, you're That's big dude. Great. How, how, I, so I have a question. Is that the plan? Are you a featherweight? Or are you like, is it one of those things where it's like, yo, at some point I'm just going to stick at 155? I, when I first started fighting, I was fighting at 155. But yeah. at that point, I did not know how to cut weight at all. I did not know, I did not know the science of cutting weight at all until. I started training more and I started progressing more and I started learning more. And then finally I know how to cut weight. And I never knew about water load until I reached out to the fighters. They're like, water load, dude. Water load will help you cut yeah. weight. You won't feel like you're going to die. I'm like, oh, awesome. <laughs> you won't feel like you're going to uh, uh, – cutting weight's never too much. N- never. No. Ooh, fun. It's not fun. So, I have, so then I'll, I'll go to the next question is – do you think that you pr- would perform better if you weren't cutting so much weight? I mean, either way, I'll perform the same. It's just okay. it all matters of my training. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just my training camp. That's, that's what it all depends on, on how much work I put and how much time I put. It all depends on that. Yeah. Cutting weights, and that's just cutting weight. But you won't lose your technique and whatever that you learn from your training camp. Do you, you know what I mean? uh, yeah, for sure. Do you, uh, what, how, how heavy are you when you walk back into the cage? So if you cut down to 145, how big are you when you step back in the cage? The next time? Oh, shit. I might be like 168, 168, almost 170, dude. Oh my gosh. You're a big dude, man. You're dude, yeah, dude. bro. I am a big dude. That's I, why I do my, more my legs, my, do all my weight is on my legs. I have big legs. So that's the, where you I, get- hey, yeah, I have the Islander legs, bro. <laughs> I got the Islander legs, dude. Come your, from your, Guam, are your dude. calves are your calves like that? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Roman even talks about my calves. My calves. It's like, dude, you got the Islander calves? Like, yeah, bro. I know, dude. All we do is like walk mountains and stuff. <laughs> uh, so you, so you, uh, that's obviously where you get the nickname, the bulldozer. Yeah, I'm a. Well, one of my friends gave me uh, back home. He gave me the bulldozer, only because I just don't like to go back. I just love to go forward. I don't know for some reason. I just love to push forward. I don't like to go backwards, dude. It's never so good enough. Did you did you start your your career in Guam? Your your amateur career? Because we don't. There's no, there's yes. only like one amateur fight. Did you have no, other I amateur had, fights? I had yes. I had three amateur fights. Okay. Okay. I lost one. Which yeah, they, was in the the one that you saw on the sure dog, um, that that wasn't a pro card. That's why it was added on. Yeah, they showing topology showing the uh, amateur one one yeah, amateur but, fight. Yeah, but we have we have this amateur uh, promotion called Prabahal back home in Guam before. Yeah, that's where I started Prabahal. off. Okay, I not yeah, I don't think they put that on sure dog because I don't even see it there too. They they yeah, have it listed as result unknown in your on your pro on your pro thing. So I thought maybe it was like a backyard fight or something. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> dude, it was it was in the cage, dude. Like, it was legit, but I don't know why. I guess because they shut down the promotion, that's why they're not continuing anything from oh, that gotcha. side. Okay, gotcha. so you're yeah, coming. I out- still I still had two year contract with them, and then shit. They shut down. They and shut then, down. Yeah, and then no more fighting. One, there's like no more. So like mostly, mostly like in Japan, Philippines. Okay. That's where they hosted it. 
you've had uh, quite a layoff since your last fight. The last time it looks like you fought was in 2017. Yeah. What's what's the reasoning yes. for the layoff there? Oh, I I, I found <laughs> I, I found I, I I found a girl, bro. Oh, they, girl. they do it to you every time, man. No, yeah, and then <laughs> I had a daughter. No, I had a daughter. Okay. No, I first hey, I found a girl on Facebook. I mean, we, we, we have kids now, so. Yeah. yeah congratulations. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. And then I took a year off because she was pregnant. I was like, man, what do I do? Should I work or should I continue fighting? I just got to try to figure out what is what will benefit my family and yeah. You know? And then and then that year came up. That year came up. She was ready. She's ready out. I was like, dude. I so miss fucking. I just so miss fighting. Like it was still in my heart and my mind, dude. That in my soul, dude. Where I still had that strive, dude, to keep going, dude. Like I still had that strive to keep going. I, so I started training hard. Like it was, it was, it was so terrible, dude. Getting back in shape, dude. It was so terrible. I was walking around, dude. I was walking around like one ninety, dude, when I first started. Again, dude, I was big, dude. I was Bitcoin. like 190, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. almost 200 pounds, dude. And I'm, and I'm 5'7", dude. That's my height. That's it's pretty big. Boy. Dude, that yeah. is big, dude. It's all that good food. That's why the cravings and stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, so basically, I was in Texas first. Or I was in Guam. And then she came to Guam to, you know, we met up. She stayed for two weeks. I ended up flying back with her to Texas because that's where she lived. Okay. Mm -hmm. I trained at SAS for like a good three months when I first got back there before she got pregnant. And then I stopped for that whole year. And then we finally moved to California. I moved to California after that, that whole year. And then I started, then I went to a gym called United Boxing Academy. Uh, I was training out of Romel Dunbar. Okay. Yeah, I was training out of him. I was also prepared. I was getting ready. I was supposed to fight in 2019, too. I don't know if you ever saw that. Yeah, sort of. yeah. I, yes. I'm on LFA against Nate Yep. Yes. I was supposed to, yeah. So that was in 2019. Since I got to California, I started training from there all the way until now. Like, I was, I'm, like, I was training hard, dude. Those whole years, I was training hard, dude. That's impressive. Like I pushed myself. That's yeah, cool. I was supposed to. I was supposed to fight. Yeah, and then I was supposed to. I was preparing for that fight. Two thousand nineteen. June. It was supposed to be like in June in Morongo, the yep. casino in Marino Valley. Yep. Yeah, because that's where I was living. I was living in Marino Valley. I was training at Marino Valley. So that was supposed to be. Uh, that was supposed to be a big opportunity for me, but I lost that opportunity only because during the weight cut, I got sick. Oh. I guess the flu was going around. This is like the whole before COVID thing. Yeah. Right? So I don't even know if that was the COVID or not. You know, it may be. I don't know because I was. I, I ended up throwing up. I was coughing. Oh, I went to the I, I went to the doctor, the professional doctor in LA, and he told me, "No, you can't fight. You can't fight like that. I'm gonna let you fight like that. Like, come on, dude. I just need to eat. Yeah. I guess. Put in That's some vitamin it. C, maybe. There we go. <laughs> and then he's like, no. I'm not letting you fight like that. You're coughing crazy. You're like, dude, man, I don't know what is going on, dude. Like, I wanted to fight so bad. I trained super hard, dude. I was already walking around like 150. It was a week of the fight. Okay. Dude. Doctors never understand, bro. They don't know. They don't get it. Yeah. If they try going through what we go through, then they, they would probably understand. There isn't a doctor. I'm gonna, Frank, I'm going to fill you in on a little secret. There isn't a doctor on this planet that approves of fighters fighting. <laughs> Come on, it just bro. <laughs> don't tell me, don't tell me that when they're growing up, dude, they never fought in their life. Dude, come on, dude. Everybody has to fight in their life, bro. So, like, sometimes you have to. Dude. We're choosing to. Yes, you, dude, you, you, you guys are choosing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, no. I got. Oh, I, me, I, me. I'm the different story, dude. Us from freaking islands, dude. That's what we ever did, dude. There's like nothing better to do but just yeah. fight, dude. 
<laughs> even if it's oh. a party, right? Even if it's our cousins, our brothers, we'll scrap it out. And after we just, you know, just chill. <laughs> hey, bro, we, I got you good. You got me good. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, I, I, was told, back home. I was told that by my doctor uh, when I was doing my physical for one of my fights. Yeah. And he, and he looked at me. And one of the questions was, have you ever been had a concussion or like any brain trauma? And he just looked at me and he's like, seriously this is what they're asking he's like you guys get punched and kicked in the face and i'm like and he's like whatever he's like and he's like no doctor would ever say that this is you should be doing this but whatever and he just signs it <laughs> yeah dude it's it's really i don't know but in the fight dude you don't feel crap you don't That's feel anything to tell you Yo, the until beauty. after until after you're like, like next day oh dude like, i got hit there what the hell <laughs> my my first my first fight i took a shin right to the face i don't even Ooh. remember the fight i don't even remember the i won i i won Sorry, via I, I i won via uh so it's amateur here in utah amateur fights there's no head kicks that's supposed to be illegal and so and you guys wear shin pads right nope dude that's so like us back home we don't but do no, pads, no head amateur. kicks. No head kicks. No head kicks. Oh, do supposed- we still? Us back home, where they still allowed head kicks, dude, for yeah, see, In Utah, they don't. <laughs> in Utah, they don't. Well, I get kicked in the head and I get dropped. I don't even remember Ooh. the fight, nothing. But after I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fine. Like yeah, no big deal. Like whatever. And the next day, like my jaw, I'm like, oh, like, like I couldn't even chew for a couple of days. It hurts. So oh, hard. dude, that's the worst. That's when you're gonna start after taking like pain meds and stuff. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I don't want to do that. No, I don't. Uh, I don't really take meds, dude. I'm really like against yeah. really. I'm really against pills, dude. Like, I don't really like messing up my body with the, with those oh, kind yeah. of stuff. Good, because yeah, you can good. mess up. You can mess up your liver or kidney. Or not yeah, you can mess a lot of things up. Yeah, yeah. dude. So, so that's, Frank, that's that's chemicals, bro. Like, tough. So Frank, talk. Uh, let's let's talk a little bit about your fight this weekend. Do you do you what do all you right. know about your opponent, this Josh Altum guy? Do you know anything about him? Uh, all I know is that he comes from a jiu-jitsu background. I looked up on his own record. A lot of his own wins is with a, with a lot of submissions. Mm-hmm. I noticed, and I noticed, I watched some of his clips. I know he he's 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 a pretty decent striker too i seen him but yeah but I'd, i noticed when he strikes he goes again to another ground guy with another jiu-jitsu person yeah yeah so the other guy that he was doing those nice striking on that, I, that I, the clip that i saw he was um that other dude was another he comes from another jiu-jitsu background he's uh, a brazilian yeah so, he's so not, i noticed he's not, that he's not striking with an actual striker yeah, I I see that he's not striking with an actual striker. Well, I come from well, I come from a striking background. Like that's where I first started, dude. I first started off brawling, dude, and then I started getting better and better and better and better. Like my stand up is like way better than my ground, way better. That's all I gotta tell you. And you're you're training out of. Um... Are you straight out of out of Vegas, right? Yes, I just moved to Vegas, and I'm gonna stay here until, till, you know, <laughs> until you know, maybe I pass away or something. I love it here. <laughs> I love it. I love it here, man. That's awesome, man. So, what's what's the plans? What's I mean, not not that we want to skip forward from this fight this weekend, but what are your plans after this fight? Are we gonna you gonna try to keep this ball rolling and get another fight or two in before the year's in year ends? Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, technically, I'm going to take – I was going to see after this fight, I might go for the June card because I want. Okay. I might want to go back home to Guam because my mom My mom just passed away too last week. Oh, sorry to hear about that, that. Yeah. yeah. So at this time, I'm focusing on that. At the same time, I'm still grieving from, yeah. you know, my loss. But at this time, I'm really just – trying to stay focused on my fight is is something my mom would have wanted my mom would want because i i talked to her before she passed she called me it was just like a week before she passed she just passed away last week maybe the week before that she did you call me she seemed fine and then i was telling her like after this fight i want to go home and you know bring my kids my daughters see her mm-hmm. but she's like no boy 
just stay back there. Just finish off your career and fight and take care of your girls. So that's all she wanted it for me. So, so this fight, I'm just I'm gonna dedicate this fight to her because okay. because she knows I was supposed. Um, she knows I was fight. Uh, I'm training for this fight. She mm -hmm. knew I was ready training for this yeah. fight. So that's what's giving me. That's that's what's giving me more of the drive, dude, to freaking you know go in there and yeah, just just do what I can and do my thing in there. This is my mom. God bless my mom, man. Yeah. How, uh, but yeah, I'm, but, but maybe like in June, maybe I know there's another event in June or May. I would probably take it. I might take it. I mean, if I, if I don't go back to Guam, I want to take it, dude, because right now I don't really have that much funds to go back. This is, it's really expensive for two way. Yeah. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit of fundraiser on Facebook just so I could try to raise some money to try to help me to fly off to Guam to try to bury her the right way. Cause right now yeah, yeah. they're just, you know, cremate her. Cause all this COVID thing is like ruining everything, man. Yeah. For it's... real. Like the, the real policy in the hospitals is super strict. Like, yeah, it's really crazy, strict. man. Crazy, yeah, crazy just... times. Mm -hmm. But yeah, at, at this point I'm focusing on the fight. Do you think? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It's like so close to do it. And, that's what I have to prepare for, and that's what my mind is focused on right now. Good. Love it, man. What? Uh, how, how do you see this fight going for you on Saturday? Well, oh, to me, I just want to me. I just want to try to keep it standing. Just, I know his his specialist is a ground. He's a black belt, dude. I'm only a white belt, bro. A white two two degree white, second degree white hey. belt, bro. You don't but, you don't wear your belt in the yeah, cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. But in MMA, it's a whole different. In, in MMA, game. yes, in MMA is a whole different ball game, dude. Yeah, it's it's a whole different ball game. Well, wherever it goes, wherever it goes, I'm gonna, I'll def wherever it goes, I'll try to take it. You know, yeah. wherever it, if it goes on the ground, then I have to defend on the ground, and I have to, you know. To fight yeah. and do uh, to do my thing and try to get out of whatever he puts me in, or I gotta put him in whatever it's open. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Do you know if they? Oh, oh it will be on. Oh, this is gonna be on Fight Pass. Yeah, it'll be Fight Pass. Your fight on Fight yeah, Pass. Yeah, it'll be UFC Fight Pass. Oh, yeah. nice. Heck yeah. Um, do you have any sponsors you want to give a shout out to before we let you get out of here? Yes, I got. Uh, I got two sponsors. Okay. I got one one sponsor in Guam. Uh, his name is uh, AJ Mendiola. He owns the uh, 565 Soldiers and um, I got Tire Loop. And then one in Texas, the owner of uh, Tattoo Ink Masters. Vid, Vid from, uh, his name is Vince Ungen. Okay. And his crew, he has more, he has he has his whole crew like supporting me too behind this. All right. Uh, behind, behind me on this fight. So that, yep. Yeah. That's the only two sponsors I have, man. Hey, that's all right, man. That's all right. Yeah, I'm not trying to stress out dude with the sponsors right <laughs> now, man. I just wanna I just wanna get my name back on the you know? Yeah get back get back on the shirt sure dog. Cause <laughs> I it's, I've been inactive. I need to be active already. Yeah, yeah. Look like I retired for a little bit and I'm back on. That's there crying. we go, man. <laughs> no, nope, well, but we are uh, we are excited to watch you watch you fight this Saturday. I know Zach and I will both be tuning in to, to watch this fight. And uh, please, yeah, man, good good luck this Saturday. Please and tune hey. in, everybody. Tune in, UFC Fight Absolutely. Pass, Fury dude, FC, thank baby. You, dude. Thank you for your support, man. Absolutely. All right, Frank, we'll let you get out All of here, right. brother. Thanks, hey, man. Let's go. Hey. Thanks, Frank. Good to meet you, bro.